Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss what is constructed chaining in Java. So, what is construct chaining? Here, I have created one class. So, I'll just write here. Calling a constructor from another constructor is called constructor chain. This can be achieved by this statement and super statement. So first we'll create a main method here. Let us create a main method. If I write main control space, it will automatically give me a suggestion. I'll create a main method. Okay. In this main method, I can create a constructor chaining object. How to create an object? Just add the class name, reference variable. Let's say RV output and new keyword to create an object. So this is invoking in a constructor. The class will have at least one constructor. If we are running this by default, default constructor will be created. So if I run this, I will not get any issues. See here. Run as Java application. So I'll not get any errors. So this constructor should have class name, open right, close bracket. Now this is my default constructor. So let us take a series of constructors. Okay. So let me take a, a constructor which has a parameter in i. Let me take another constructor which has a string variable, string s. Okay. So here, how do I perform chaining? Chaining means what? There should be a link between these two. This is called chaining. How I can see that? So when you're directly giving uh, this one, uh, when you're creating a reference variable and we're creating an object, this will directly call this constructor. And here you can perform this thing. So I can give this of pi. Okay. Here I can write uh, this out. This is default constructor. What it does when, is, when it sees this statement, this, it goes to the constructor which has integer as a parameter. So this is the one. So here I'll give this a string value. Let's say as a techno coder. And I'll write this out here. This is int type constructor. Okay. And again, the constructor the statement starts here, right? And always remember guys, this should be the first statement. Okay. If it's a next statement, it will throw an error. What is the error here? Constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor. Okay. So here, this statement should always be the first statement. That's it. Now see here, if I run this, what will be the output? Run as Java application. Okay. Let me save this. Click on OK. See here. Execution starts with main. So 18 statement with the first one. So it calls the constructor here. This constructor it should be called. So it goes to the first line. It is this of five. Then it goes to this line. It is this of as a technocoder. And you can write here for understanding purpose that it is going inside or not. String constructor, something like that, right? String constructor. So let me run it again. So this call, this of other technocoder calls this constructor. So this will be the first line in the execution here. Second one will be the int type. Third one will be the default constructor. So this is as simple as that. So one rule you have to follow. This should always be the first statement of a constructor. If you are using constructor chaining, overloading, constructor overloading is mandatory. I'll cover these concepts in the different videos. So constructor overloading should have uh, one or more constructor with same name. Okay, this is there. So it should have different types, number of arguments or different types of arguments. It is a default constructor, no arguments. It is in type here and this is string type. This is how we can do constructor chaining by using this statement. Okay, now let us see how we can do using super statement. Okay, now we have to create one more class. Let me create here. Let me clear a class demo, something like that. Okay. And here this class extends demo class. Extend means the inheritance concept is there here. So class will have, let's say demo as one constructor. Okay. And we can use super here, super statement. 
this is super statement. There is a difference between this keyword and this statement, super keyword and super statement. I'll cover in future videos. Okay. So let me write it here. This out. This is a default constructor of, of demo class. Okay. So what is the relationship here? So this is a parent and this is a child. Because constructor chaining extends, inherits the demo one. So demo is a parent, demo class is a parent, and constructor chain is a child class. So first statement of the super is, I'll write here, super examples. I'll add everything in the description. So the super, it calls the immediate parent of class constructor. So when you write super here, what it is doing, it is calling this one, constructor. Okay. Now if you see, this should be the first one which will print. This should be the second one, this should be the third one, and this should be the fourth one. So let us see, right click, run as Java application. So this is the first default construct demo class because super is called here. String constructor, this is the int type constructor, this is default constructor. For super, the statement call inheritance is mandatory. Now let me write one more, demo of int c, okay. This is integer constructor of demo class. Something like this. Okay. So how to get this one? The first. Try something. This of seven unit. So this will only work in same class. So this dot seven will not call. Will not call this one. So this will only refer to this current class object. Okay. So now, so integer should be the first one. This is the integer class of demo class. This is the default constructor, string constructor, int type constructor, default constructor. Okay. Now let's see one more, one more example. Let me remove extends demo. Okay. Will super be able to call constructor chain in through super is not happening here. So for super, what is mandatory? Inheritance is mandatory. Okay. But still, we are not getting an error. Why? There is always one class which extends all the classes, object class. That's why we are not getting any error. Super statement should be the first statement inside constructor. Can I have super and this in same for a constructor? Will it work? Will it throw an error? Yes, it is throwing an error. What is the error here? Constructor call should be first statement in the constructor. Okay. So what does this mean? So this means super and this cannot be cannot be written in same constructor. So this should come in different constructor. So see this example here. We have this here, this here, and super here. So if I write this here, this will also throw an error. Why constructor call should be the first statement in the constructor. But we can achieve constructor chaining by both this and super. How? See, I am calling super here. It, it will call the demo class constructor. Here we are using this. It will call this parameterized constructor of demo class. That's how we can achieve constructor chaining with both this and super at the, at the same time, but they should not be in single constructor. So that's it for the video, guys. I'll uh, add entire thing in the description. Hope you have understood everything. If not, let me know in the comments below. That's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.